Hey, swim jigging's really, really fun, especially when the water's up in the bushes like you can see behind me here. A little bit of color in the water. Look, I, I keep really simple. White, trophy bass, half ounce, with a, a speed bug in a yellow, or black and blue. Those are my two that I go to. Um, really hard to beat. Throw it on 20 to 25 pound uh, fluorocarbon, maximum fluorocarbon, a fat, my fast quantum eight, zero to one gear ratio. Uh, smoke reel and a 7.6 Icon cash and rod. That's a good fish. Yeah, not a bad little keeper. Thank you. There's two types of trailers you can throw. Um, you can go with the speed bug that's got the kicking little tail dealies like that right there. Or you can go with a swimmer that's a paddle, paddle tail. Now when would I use a paddle tail? When I want to reel that swim jig really high in the water column and on top, the paddle tail's got a lot more lift than the speed bug does. So. If you want to keep it down under the water and rip it really, really fast, I go with the speed bug. The tails are kicking good. If I want in a lot of grass or whatever and I really want to keep my rod tip high and keep my bait up high, like almost just under the surface, I'll go with the swim bait, like the 4 inch or the 3.5 swimmer. So there's a couple of tips to you, but look, don't go in there with anything less than 20 to 25 pound uh, fluorocarbon. And if you want to, go with braid. The reason I'm not throwing braids because I'm throwing it up there and you can't break braid off. Um, so I'm, I'm, I don't want, you know, I'm breaking off a few jigs here and there that I can't get to because I'm throwing way up there. So there's your little tip right there for the Trophy Bass Swim Jig with the Speed Bug from Tackle HD.